Today's video is a pantry staple that I know you definitely have and is so popular on the holidays. We're making three delicious recipes using Ritz crackers. This video came to be because one of you guys sent me a recipe for a Ritz cracker pecan pie. And I was like, that sounds amazing. I have to make it. Plus, there is a Ritz cracker crock pot chicken recipe that I've wanted to make for forever. So I was like, we're just going to make all the Ritz cracker recipes. So I'm going to get started on this crock pot recipe so we can have it for dinner tonight. Okay, now I've got my crock pot on low because it's pretty early in the day that's going to cook all day long. I'm going to go ahead and lightly spray it. And then we'll get our chicken just right down here in the bottom. I've seen this recipe float around like the internet and YouTube so many times. And I'm like, I have got to try that. It sounds so good. So today is the day. It's like a creamy chicken, rich cracker, buttery topping. Like it's going to be amazing. Now that we've got that in the crock pot, we're going to do like our creaminess. So I have a little bit less chicken than what the actual recipe to make a huge mess oh my goodness oh my goodness no okay funky you have to come look at what i just did look at my shirt oh funk. oh no we need to get you an apron yes we do seriously there's a little bit on the lens too look at my shirt i'm so sad <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go change. I'll be right back and I gotta clean the lens off because there is literally soup everywhere. Okay, now that I've cleaned up my mess, I have my one can of cream of chicken soup in here and I did the kind with the herbs just to give it a little bit more flavor. And I think what I was saying is I have a little bit less chicken than the original recipe, so I'm putting a little bit less sour cream and stuff in mine, but I will leave the original one down below. And then about a cup of this sour cream, we're gonna mix this together and then pour this on our chicken. Now I've got my butter all melted right here. I'm gonna go ahead and crush up some Ritz crackers. We will pour our butter on top, mix that, and then top our chicken with it. Also, I really need to get my nails done, so please ignore it. That is it. I'm gonna pop a lid on here and this is gonna cook all day. I'm gonna do it on low for probably about six or seven hours. You can also do it on high. Okay, y'all, this crock pot smells so good. The chicken looks delicious. We have it on warm because it's been cooking all day long. Now, like I told y'all to go along with ours, we're gonna do some egg noodles because y'all know Bunky and I love the egg noodles, but you could also do like mashed potatoes or rice. And then we're gonna do some roasted carrots in the oven as like our side dish because we always make the roasted carrots like with our HelloFresh meals. And it is one of my favorite things. So we're gonna make them. We gotta, we gotta incorporate a vegetable. We need a vegetable. And I think I'm gonna do like some paprika like some smoked paprika on, on them. Mm. And then like some roasted red pepper flakes, salt and pepper. Does give that sound little, good? Give them a little heat. Yeah, like a little sweet savory. Yeah. So we're gonna get those going. And then I went and had um, coffee with Amber over, you know, feeding the birds. And we were just talking, 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 talking the whole time. And I was like, oh my goodness. So I don't have time to make our pie today. So I'm gonna make it tomorrow. But Bunky already told me. He said, did I hear you down there saying, Ritz cracker pecan pie. Yeah, you're, you're you're trying to bring a new pecan pie into the fold here, yeah. into the Bunky household. <laughs> you know, truth be told, there's hardly ever been a pecan pie that I haven't liked. So. Exactly. <laughs> okay, I got my water over here, bring it to a boil, and I my egg noodles, and then go ahead and cut our carrots. So now to my carrots, I'm gonna drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil. I'll kind of like toss them around so I make sure they're good and coated. RPF. <laughs> okay, a couple of crushed red pepper flakes to give them a little heat. That's good? Uh-huh. Some smoked paprika. Good. And this last one, I just like saw it and was like, oh my gosh, that would be so good. Show them. Okay, I, I don't think I can go with this one here. Yes. 
the cracked pepper parmesan. Parmesan on carrots? I promise. It says that it's really good on vegetables, and I was like, I think that sounds good. Okay. I was going to do salt, pepper, garlic, but I think that's going to be better. It comes out really fast, just so you know. We're trusting you on this one. Trust me. That stuff is so good. Like, I literally eat it on everything. A little bit more. A little bit more. Keep going. Okay, that, that's plenty. <laughs> okay, that's You good. can add some more to yours. Yeah, that's After true. After the fact. Okay, and I'm going to do a big crack of pepper, and then we're going to pop these in the oven at 400 degrees, probably for about 15 to 20 minutes. Look at how cute. Bunky, every video from now until Christmas, you have Christmas. to have like a different Christmas festive t-shirt. Christmas t-shirt. I've got... Because the last one you did, the um, Christmas story. Christmas story. I've got another. I've got at least one more that I can break out. Okay, so. good. Your mom just got you this one, right? Yeah. I really like this one, too, with my Looney Tunes friends. <laughs> oh, Marvin. Oh, my gracious, Bunky. It looks good, doesn't it? Yes. So, should I put, like, a piece of chicken? You put it right on top. Right with, on top? With all your, like, goodness, too. Oh, my. That looks scrumptious. And then get all of that, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Creamy sauce. Okay, we're gonna take this up just like one little notch because I tasted it and I think it needs just like a little something something. So, I'm gonna add some fresh herbs to this, give it a little color. Oh. We're gonna do some Parmesan on top. This was so unexpected. So unexpected. And then I'm gonna do one crack of pepper. And I think that is what's gonna take it over the top. Now that looks beautiful and delicious. Like, look at how good this looks. The mouth jets are going. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's delicious. It's delicious. I, I just tried to bite, and I really love the Ritz cracker topping. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how to describe that because it's, it's like, that's a really nice little addition. Yeah. Almost like, uh, like a soft, fluffy, golden, buttery, bready thing. Yes, agreed. But do you agree with me that it needed a little bit of like Parmesan, pepper? Yeah, I mean. Because there's only a few ingredients in there, so it's not like right. a lot of flavor. Yeah, the, I mean, the Parmesan definitely, I would, I would say was a key addition. Very helpful. Yeah, as always, I mean, Egg, egg noodles with like chicken out of the crock pot is just always good. We love the egg noodles. Okay, yeah. try my carrots and tell me what you think about those two. Oh wow. You know what's really good? What? Actually, the carrots are a good side with this because they're kind of, well, they're like a little sweet, but then you put the, they got a little bit of spice to them. Yeah. You know? So it really, balance as well with the with the other portion of the meal agree i think carrots are are the way to go okay as the side option with this and they're nice and tender and great they're probably some of the best carrots you've ever made wow okay that's yeah. good i love a good roasted carrot you know that either means that these are just really good or i'm really bad or <laughs> haven't been that great i don't know which one I think those are really good. These are really good carrots. Okay, this was a great dinner. So easy. Mm -hmm. Few ingredients. Delish. Oh. Yes. I was going to say after after the fact, because now that I've you know, been here experiencing it, I didn't know what actually went into the crock pot. I really like the fact that it doesn't have cream cheese in it because it's not as like as heavy. Yes, 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 yes. It's, it's much lighter. The Ritz crackers kind of give it a little bit of the body that it needs. Okay. It's delicious. Yay. I'm so excited. Okay. We'll see y'all in the morning for Ritz cracker pecan pie. So we're having dessert for breakfast. <laughs> I look forward to it. Daisy May, does all this pitter patter mean that you want to bite? Do you want to bite? You're just so cute. Okay, y'all, it is time to get started on these other recipes. I'm so excited because they're gonna be so good. But we're gonna first start with our Ritz cracker pecan pie. And I feel like it's not like the pecan pie you're thinking of. The pecans are in the crust with the Ritz cracker. So we're gonna make the crust first. I'm gonna flip you around and show you these ingredients. Okay, so you're gonna need one sleeve of Ritz crackers, 
three egg whites. I'll go ahead and get the egg whites out of there. One cup of chopped pecans, one cup of sugar, and then one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, I'm starting by getting my egg whites first because we will need to kind of beat these so we can fold them in. And I always just try to like crack my egg and then toss the yolk back and forth until I get the entire egg white out of there. Thank goodness I got this hand mixer recently because it has really come in handy. I've used it several times. Okay, we're just gonna beat these until they're kind of like stiff peaks. Okay, I would say that is good. It took about probably two to three minutes. Now to this bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and crush up all of our Ritz crackers. We'll add this, the rest of our little ingredients, mix that, and then we're gonna fold in the egg whites. Okay, we're gonna mix this, and then we'll start folding in our egg whites. I feel like anything with vanilla just already smells so good. Then you add like the sugar and the buttery Ritz cracker and it's just like out of this world. Now you want to gently fold in these egg whites because you don't want to really like break them up. Y'all, I know I already said it, but like I cannot get over how good this smells. I like really just want to take a fork and just eat this mixture right here because <laughs> it just looks so good. Y'all can only see Bunky's face because I did not tell him that this was like a different version of pecan pie. And he just looked at this and he's like, that's the filling. I'm like, no, Bunky, that is the crust. But anyway, I think I told you guys, but this recipe comes from Tammy. She's been a long time follower. We always are like talking in my DMs and stuff and she's so sweet. She says this is like one of her very, very favorite things. Okay, I'm gonna trust, I'm gonna trust Tammy You're then. gonna love it. So she says to get your pie dish and make sure it is nice and greased. So I'm gonna do that and then we're just gonna pour this in there and like basically create our crust. Then we're gonna pop it in the oven at 350 for 25 minutes and let like the crust cook all the way. Is that tasteable? Or well, does it have egg in it? It has egg whites in it. Okay. So yeah, I would say no. I'll wait. Although you can you can eat egg whites. Mm -mm. You know, okay. I'll pass. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grease this thing up really well, like she says too. Okay, let's do that. Is that good? I'm gonna get it all in there first, and then I'll start. You know. Yeah, you gotta love a a, a pie like this where the perfection of the crust is not as complicated. You know. Yes. Now she did say to do a deep dish pie. Bunky! Is this deep dish? No! I don't think we have a deep dish. No, well, we probably don't. So what are we gonna do? This is a pie for two. <laughs> but it's still gonna be fine, right? Yeah, it'll probably be fine. Just make sure you get that up um, I'm gonna as, use high, my... as high to the edges as you okay, can. Okay, I'm gonna use my fingers. I feel like that's just gonna be, you know, so much easier. Look at how beautiful this is. Okay, going to the oven, 25 minutes, and while it's in there, I'm gonna get started on our next recipe. Are you excited for the next recipe? I told you what it was oh, earlier. Oh yeah. This I is am one the of most all-time favorite appetizer sandwich snacks. But we're doing it different style. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm but so excited. I have a feeling it's gonna turn out good. Yes. Good day to me. Look at her. Oh, you want you to be hailed. She wants to say hello. Do you want to say hello, girlfriend? <laughs> Aw, she's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all have been around here for a while, you know that one of my very favorite things in the entire world are like the King's Hawaiian ham and cheese sandwiches. So when I saw this recipe, that's basically that, but instead of using King Hawaiian rolls, you're using their Ritz crackers and you still bake them in the oven. You still do like the topping and everything. I was just like mind blown. I have to try this. I'm so excited. So that is going to be our third recipe. Also very random, but I even told Monkey this. So I'm going to like tell him with y'all. Someone messaged me today actually, and they sent me this like really cool recipe that was like a French bread pizza. Mm. 
but I'm thinking of it like kind of like sandwich style. But anyway, she was saying like Bunky. I want to see Bunky recreate this and like <laughs> make his version of it. Oh, okay. And I was like, we should do a video of just like you making your own creations, your own recipes, whatever. Oh my goodness. Wouldn't that be so fun? Well, I'm always, always uh, open to pizza opportunities, uh, so. Okay, if y'all wanna see that video, tell us down below, okay? Now, you guys know we love the Boar's Head Virginia Ham, so that's the one that I'm gonna use. And I just got my deli to slice it nice and thin, because you definitely want like thin ham and cheese. And then I also have some Swiss here. And in like no rhyme or reason, I'm just kind of like tearing it and making it the size of the cracker to like put on top of it. Okay, I'm taking my piece of Swiss cheese and then I'm just like folding it over. So that kind of makes this like even break in there and then folding it again so I get four even squares out this one piece. Houston, we may have a problem. <laughs> Okay, pie crush just came out. It's been 25 minutes. Looks and smells divine. Okay, divine. But it also kind of looks like a cake now. Now, if you ask me, I would take a fork to this and eat this and like be so happy, but we have to put our topping on. So I'm just wondering if hopefully it will just kind of like sit on top. Maybe it's supposed to look like this. I don't know. But I am gonna let this cool. We will finish assembling our little ham and cheese sandwiches. Then we'll make the topping for this put it on there, taste test. I have to tell you though, it just looks and smells so, so good. Okay, so to my melted butter, I'm gonna add in just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, kind of like the same thing I always um, add in to make my regular ham and cheese sliders. I'm gonna do some crushed red pepper flakes, a little whole grain mustard. That's my favorite part, y'all know. And then because I love this seasoning so much, I'm gonna do a little bit of the Kinder's cracked pepper parmesan. Okay, pour this mixture right over top. Actually, I'm gonna spoon it over. Okay, these are out of the oven and they look and smell so good. My camera died like right as I was trying to finish these up, so I'm sorry if it was like, weird before I put them in the oven um but they went in at 350 for like 10 to 12 minutes that's all it takes until that butter kind of toasts them up and makes them like golden brown oh my goodness I'm like drooling over here <laughs> now I'm not gonna lie I've already eaten like three of these yeah. <laughs> but you go ahead and oh. give us your taste test review and then I'll tell you what I think oh my gosh they smell exactly how they should. Yes. What the world. Right. Oh my gosh. Are they not just like the best little bite of food ever? The problem with this is you need like 12 of them. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. They're so good. This is an excellent spin and take on the classic. Agreed. Okay, I wanna tell you guys my thoughts. I'm gonna get one more of these real quick. Okay, so my thought on this is like, what a great appetizer to serve at a party because you could make a ton of these at one time, like on a big sheet pan. Um, whereas like the King's Hawaiian Rolls, you know, it's kind of like you're limited to how many. Yeah. But this, you could make a ton to feed a crowd. They are exceptionally incredible. I love that they're just like tiny bite size. Like Bunky said, I feel like I could eat, you know, six too or many, ten far, of these far too many yeah but like oh i just got a little did you put some like red pepper flakes like, so it's like a little bit of some kick okay but because it's not like all that bread you like don't feel terrible eating a yeah, handful of them right. okay they are incredible and like 10 to 12 minutes in the oven the easiest assembly ever i can't get over it that is so good they're incredible the people you you need to make this 100 percent. if you, if you want to like throw the the change up out there yes. at your friends family they're gonna Christmas love it. party whatever it may be this is the way to go it is it, you can even do this on New Year's Eve <laughs> yes now we have to make the topping for our pie and it's very simple we just need heavy whipping cream sugar and vanilla and we're gonna whip that together and then just like spread it on top of our pie crust 
I literally cannot wait. Like, it's just sitting over there, like, calling my name. Still so mesmerized by how beautiful this is. But he came downstairs and he was like, wait, why did this puff up so much? And he's like, is it supposed to be that way? And I was like, I don't know, but we're going with it. Um, but anyway, for our topping, she says to use half of like a pint of heavy whipping cream since i have this mac daddy one i'm gonna just kind of eyeball it and do what i think half of a regular pint is and then we're gonna half of a pint is one cup oh really yes that's a quart so you need look quart. at you being so smart bonky well, you know i do what i can coming in clutch okay so i'm gonna use one cup of this and then two tablespoons of sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla and then we're just gonna whip that until it's literally like whipped cream stiff peaks stiff peaks and that was for the eggs oh. the egg whites need a stiff peaks we just want to be fluffy yeah <laughs> yeah it's fluffy duffy like daisy girl are you a fluffy girl Okay, now we just whip this all together. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. Taste it and tell us. Wow. It's so good. That's delicious, so fresh. We should always make you know, our own little yeah. whipped cream. Yes. Gosh. What? It's just so light and fluffy. Yes. Okay. It's like eating Cool Whip. <laughs> exactly, it's homemade. Okay, I'm gonna fluff this Cool Whip out. You know what? Hmm. Now that I see like how much this made, and I like see this pie, I think it was supposed to puff up like that. This is just like a little topping, right. you know? Yeah, it made sense to me after the uh, after the fact. Yeah, yeah, we did just fine. Because there's not really like a filling to it, so that's really what you're eating is. Yeah, you're eating the Ritz cracker and pecans. Just, and you're just topping it. Yeah. Okay, what do you think? Leave it be? Mm -hmm. You can add that little bit extra on top. Should we sprinkle some Christmas sprinkles on it for Christmas? <laughs> no way. Oh, okay. No way. Okay. I'm liking this texture. Of the crust? Of the... Of the crust. The crust part, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's mostly all crusty. Exactly. <laughs> the whole pie. That is so good. You love it? I do. Like, is it up there with like your regular pecan pies? It's got all the flavor, but it's not like that syrupy, sticky, gummy syrup. Which is better, I think. Mm -hmm. I taste Whoa. a little bit of the crust, and it's not like overly sweet, which is what I like about it. My goodness. You love it. Two very impressive recipes today. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. This was from Tammy. This is from Tammy. Tammy did good. She did us good. You were over here questioning it. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to. I was I was prejudging. <laughs> Yay, I'm so glad you love it. Man, that is really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna leave Tammy's recipe down below for y'all. You'll have to try it. It's got like a nice sticky chew to it. Uh-huh. But it's not like where you feel like you're just eating like all that corn syrup. Yeah. And the whipped cream is like a perfect addition. Oh yeah. I am shocked. Ooh wee, okay, I can't wait to try it. Ma'am, it's almost like you're eating like a, it's like a candy bar type Butterfinger type of thing. Wow. If that makes sense. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Ooh wee. Okay, all of these recipes were so, so good. I cannot wait for you guys to try them. I will have them either typed out or linked down below for you guys. I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all. So so the actual, like the pie part itself, uh -huh. it's almost got like a, a cookie type of texture. Wow. Not Butterfinger, but like a cookie. Okay. But a pecan pie cookie. <laughs>